Hi there, I'm Jocelyn, a registered veterinary technician with the Ontario SPCA, and today I'm here with my friend Coda to show you guys some tips on trimming your dog's dark nails. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Trimming your dog's dark nails can be really nerve-wracking because unlike with light-colored nails, you can't visualize the quick. The quick is the inner nerve and blood vessel that nourishes the nail, and when cut, it causes the nail to bleed and is painful for your dog. Without further ado, let's get into some tips for trimming your dog's dark nails. Tip number one, be prepared. Make sure that you have everything you need ready before you start. This includes your nail trimmers, your dog's favorite treats, <laughs> some stick dick sticks or cornstarch, something to help stop the bleeding if you accidentally nick the quick, and a helper if necessary to hold your dog, keep them calm, and feed them your treats. Tip number two, have a non-slip surface, such as a bath mat or a yoga mat like we have for Coda here, so that your dog can stand on it. It's so much more comfortable for your dog to stand on a non-slip surface so that they aren't sliding all around during the nail trim. Tip number three, use sharp nail trimmers. If you find that you need to use excessive force to trim the nails, it's probably time to sharpen or replace your trimmers. Tip number four, grab your pet's paws gently but firmly. And before you start trimming, allow your dog a moment to settle and get their balance or to lean into you for support. Make sure that you hold your dog's foot in such a way that is most comfortable for your dog. Tip number five. The very best tip that I can give you for trimming dark nails is to trim little bits at a time. It's better to make a lot of little clips than it is to try to take too much off and hit the quick. Clip the tip off and then have a look at the nail head on. If the end appears whitish or light gray, it's safe to trim a little bit more. Look at the nail head on after every clip you make. When you see a small shiny dot appear in the center of the nail, stop. That little dot means that you're just about to quick and if you cut any further, you may nick it and cause the nail to bleed. You can also look at the underside of your dog's nails to help visualize where the quick is. You should see a lighter, fleshy area which contains the quick. The tip of the nail should have a small little open groove inside. This is the part that's safe to cut. Tip number six. Always, always, always end on a positive note with lots of praise and treats. Nail trims can be stressful for dogs, especially if they've had a negative experience in the past. You wanna make this experience as positive and happy as possible for your furry friends so that they aren't stressed out every time they see those clippers coming. Okay, so now we're gonna trim your nails. How about that? With that, Coda's potty cure is complete. Thank you, Coda, for being a fantastic sport, and thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more great content like this.